Greetings one and all. I would like us to read for this week 1 Kings chapter 19 and we read from verse 11. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, what are you doing here? Elijah. This is the word of the Lord and thanks be to God for his word. Amen. I would like us to talk on the theme of pause. How can we pause? How can we take time to pause, to stop, to think in this time of Lent? Taking a pause means to breathe in and out all sounds and movements that our bodies can make. You become more aware of the environment you are in. You become more attuned to what is happening at that time. Reverend Trevor Hudson wrote a beautiful book on contemplative prayers of Lent. He called Pauses for Lent and he said, I quote, Sometimes a pause is good for the soul. It gives us the chance to regroup, to reflect, and to refocus on God. Close quote. In the Bible, there is a word called sila, used sporadically in scripture. It is found 74 times in the Bible. This weird word that is used randomly, appearing in the middle of the text, in some texts, it is found um, at the beginning of the text or at the end of that text. The Hebrew meaning of this word sila, it, it means to stop and listen. In Psalms, we find the word used as a form of underlining in preparation for the next phrase or the next paragraph that we are to read. So we have read a snippet of a great story of Prophet Elijah. He was desperate to hear from God and we heard from the story that he was told to go onto the mountain to meet this incredible God who would come and save the nation of Israel. When the powerful wind came rushing through the mountains making a great noise, the God who had shown himself before through the wind at this time when Elijah listened very closely to this huge noise of the rushing wind couldn't find God. And after the wind came the earthquake and this is the God who created the universe. So this is God who moves with the things that are in the world and therefore with the sound of the earthquake erupting, um, Elijah went and listened to hear if God was in the earthquake and there was not God. Then came the fire and in the scripture we are told that God has showed himself through the fire before, but when prophet Elijah went, God was not in the fire at this time. But God came through a gentle whisper that Prophet Elijah could clearly hear. Prophet Elijah could hear the sound of God coming through the gentle whisper. Sometimes we need to go completely silent to take a pause, to stop and to listen to the word of God who can speak to us. When we pause and when we intentionally go silent, yes, our bodies relax, our minds become at ease and our souls are moved. But more importantly, we can meet with God. 
So I encourage us for this time of Lent that we use it to personally take a pause, personally take time to stop, to think, to reflect, to speak with God, to listen with God, that we can have a moment to tell God all our dreams and all our worries, that we can talk to God about our fears and achievements, that we can talk to God about our strengths and our weaknesses, to take a pause, to stop and to listen. Sometimes it is in the power of silence that we can receive a gift of doing nothing, a gift of no talk, no engagement, no thinking, but a gift of just being, just being yourself in the presence of God, breathing in the spirit of God and breathing out all the bad spirits that we carry with our bodies. May God bless you as you receive this word and may our hearts be blessed as we take this word in and we take it forward. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks, praise and honor for your name. We thank you for speaking to us today through this powerful message. We pray, Lord, that you will help us in our busy days, in our busy times, that we will remember that taking a pause, that when we stop and we listen, that we give our bodies time to recover and our minds time to rethink and reflect that we'll be able to come back refreshed and renewed. We pray for your special blessing upon us all as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.